Hi guys, today we are going to be starting a new storing photo cards video. I do have quite a bit of Fromis photo cards to put away. This entire thing is all Fromis photo cards. So I think it's time to start putting away the Unlock My World photo cards that I currently have. First of all, I did update this binder. I made like a new collage and I think it's really cute. I love this concept so much. It's not perfect. I'm not the best at this, but I tried my best <laughs> and I like it so far. This is my new Fromis binder. So now I have three Fromis binders and this one is from Love From Moving Forward. I don't know how long this binder will last, but we shall try and make it last okay so let's go ahead and pull out some photo cards so we'll start just in the order that i have them in which i think is just like the regular album photo cards so let me see i only have two sets two album sets worth of photo cards for the albums most of the albums that i have i shipped to my korean address so they're not here yet, so I only have a couple of cards so far. So this is the reality version, these ones. I did pull some dupes in my first albums, and obviously as I get more photo cards, I will update the, um, like, the way that I have them listed. So Jiwon is officially going to be going in this spot as of currently. And then we have this Che. Chaeyoung always goes in this spot. And same with Jihan. The only members who really have a different spot as of currently, as of the OT8 lineup, is Jiwon and Jisun. So Jiwon used to be here, Jisun used to be here, but now Jiwon's here and Jisun's here. So that is reality version one photo book. I will probably leave this on just for now. And then I only pulled one mini card that was not a duplicate. I think I pulled two Hyungs, so Hyung does go here. I kind of hate how these pages are kind of curved right now because there's nothing in this binder. Hopefully it fixes itself as we get more pages. Imagine version. So luckily this version I don't think I pulled any duplicates, so that is so nice. So let's go ahead and put these away. So we have one of pretty much every member. Not every member, but you know what I mean. Like, in our first polls, we didn't pull a duplicate member. And if anyone was interested in how it's going with the guardhouse shield pages, I really like them so far. I like how clear they are. And it's very nice. I love this Soyon card so much. Um, yeah, so we're gonna... I'm trying to work through this quickly. So, I'm sorry if... I'm not as chatty. I feel like I am still chatty, but not as chatty as I typically am because it's just so hot. I want to get this over with. And then Nakyung. But who knows? Maybe you guys like that. And then we have the not yet version. I did have some duplicates in this one, so that's okay. We have Sedum, Jiwon. And this stunning Soyeon. I love this card so much. All right. And then mini cards. We have Jiwon and Chaeyoung. I'm really hoping that this era isn't too difficult to collect for the regular album photo cards. Um, especially with how many albums I have for group orders. <laughs> I really hope especially with how Instagram's tags are down currently. Uh, we do have the the Kinos, so I did do a video for the Kinos. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. But we do have both sets. Luckily, I was able to pull all the members. Love that for me. So this is the Imagine Kino set. So this is what we will put in first. I'm so excited. Our first full set in the binder. Ugh, it's gonna look so nice. Again, I apologize. I'm a lefty and my arm is literally always in the way. <laughs> I love that they did these as the music video set outfits. I just, I love this. It's so pretty. I do think it was kind of 
interesting that they like put them as Imagine version Kino and not yet version Kino, but then the Kino cards were music video outfits. Just, it's interesting to me, but I really liked it, honestly, because like, otherwise, like if, it, if they did give us the Imagine version or the not yet version outfits, I feel like a lot of the cards would be very repetitive. So I do enjoy that they gave us music video outfits. So there is this one. I will take this off because the set is complete. So yay! Oh my god, look at that. So stunning. I know my fillers don't really match very well with the album theme, but I like them because they remind me of like OT9, you know, yada yada yada. They have hearts of all nine of the members on them, and they're in my favorite colors. So personally, I really like my fillers so <laughs> i hope you guys like them as well at least for the symbolism if you don't like the colors i tried putting them in giri's original spot and i just really did not like it i did not like the way that it made the page look so i figured to even out everything i would just put it in the middle And there's that yay oh my god love that Ugh, so pretty and then i do have the whole compact version set so i have the whole compact version set i was very lucky to pull them all so we love that for me i think this this set is so pretty i love the little glitter tears moment i just absolutely love these cards so much Yeah, these guardhouse pages are really nice. Like, ugh, I love them. The Soyon, I think, is my favorite of the set. It just looks so stunning. And then I do have this. I have extra um, compact version PCs because of, you know, I bought the set. It came with two cards in each album. Um, and I put one of these Cheung. I have an extra Cheung, and I put it in a photo card holder that's currently on my tote bag. And it looks so cute. It's in a Care Bear top loader. Or not top loader, but... PC holder. It's so cute. I love it. I love Care Bears. So there is the compact version set. This one, I just love the not yet version. It's so beautiful. And then Weverse albums. We do have Weverse album. So first we will do the QR codes. I do have to push these up because they're thick and they tend to fall in the pages. See, they already are slipping in the pages if i could i would double sleeve them but i don't like double sleeving <laughs> personally um because that means i have to spend more money on sleeves than i already do and i would rather not do that <laughs> but these concept ones are really really pretty i do despise the fact that g suns is horizontal when everyone else's is vertical especially because it's so funny when you go to the weverse album app and like you download her weverse album version the picture that they give you is vertical why did they make it horizontal it makes absolutely no sense to me go off i guess <laughs> like it's this exact same picture but it's vertical like they just zoomed in on it it's like why didn't you just do that in the card in the original card regardless stunning as per usual there's cat hair everywhere as as per usual <laughs> you know gizmo carries i carry gizmo's love with me everywhere <laughs> but it is officially summer now i live in california and we have an excessive heat warning that is so much fun we love that it was so nice though because june was actually like a really nice month like it was in like the 60s and 70s the whole month like how pretty this is though so stunning so let's put away weverse album photo cards so this is the first weverse album version which is in the not yet concept which again love it so much um i did buy a few photo card sets from Mercari Japan or like I will have bought them by the time you're seeing this um and there a lot of them are in the not yet version concept which 
Honestly, for me, I don't mind having a lot of photo cards in the same concept if they slay, and these cards literally slay. So I'm very excited to get them. I bought the Weavers Japan pop set, and um, there's just a couple of pop sets in this out outfit, and I just think they're stunning. I have the Lucky Draws as well. I didn't get the pop-up store Lucky Draws, but I kind of want to. They're just really expensive, so I'm not gonna deal with that at the moment. They are doing so many pops. They're still not done with fan signs, and it's just kind of overwhelming, so... I'm gonna work on the cards that I like as of currently, and then we'll see how many pop sets I actually get. <sighs> but yeah, look how pretty this is. I do love this, but um, Jihun's doesn't have any pink in it. it. It's more green than anything, which is fine, but it just looks kind of weird in the pink set. This is the second Weverse album set, and this is in the music video concept. I really don't have much to say at the moment, except that it's just so hot. It's like the girls are hot, but also it's so hot in my room right now. I'm going to die. It's it's bad. I love this short hair Cheon card. I wish that she would embrace her short hair a little bit more. Like I know it's a personal preference. She loves her long hair. And I am so for it. I love Chaeyoung regardless of what her hair status looks like, you know? Like, I love Chaeyoung for the fact that she is Chaeyoung. But whenever she has short hair, it looks so good. And she she likes her hair long, um, but I love her hair short. It just looks so pretty. Um, then we start getting into pops. Um, let me see. So Aladdin is the film photo card set. Um, I'm pretty sure. And then K-Town is just the regular like uh, clear photo card set, even though they're basically the same. Um, so we're just going to put them in like this. Um, I really despise the fact that they did all the same pictures. But it's okay. They, at least they did different borders, which I guess is okay for me. I really wish that they did different pictures, like, like in Stay This Way era, though. But it's fine. Still gonna collect them. I like that they gave us a group card so that it can be, like, a full page. So I do like that. And these pictures are really pretty, though. I think I have two other sets coming. I think I have the regular selfie photo card set from Yes24. And I think I have the, um, I forget what the other store is. Music Korea, I think, that are hollow. But yeah. And then this is K-Town for you. So K-Town for you, again, same, same photos, but they are a little bit different. You know, same, same, but different. They're a little bit different. So I'm fine. It's fine, I guess. Also, these are my old Ultra Pro white sleeves. If you've been here for like hella long, then you probably remember. I used to like single sleeve my 17 collection. Or like I used to put them in white sleeves like so long ago. When I used to have them in nine pocket binders. Um, but I barely ever do that anymore, so I have so many white sleeves just laying around. Um, so I tend to use them for clear cards. So that is this page. Very cute. I do despise the little sticker on them. I don't have the S24 set. I don't have that. Oh, I don't have that one yet. Um, that's with my group order. Uh, same with this one. I do have the compact pop, so let me see where it is. I think this is the compact version, and then this is the Weverse version. I could be completely wrong, but I think I'm right. Also, I noticed, because I was looking back at my order history, and I looked and I saw that the Weverse compact version pop should have been a selfie, but they gave us a concept for the photo cards. I was literally looking on Weverse and I clicked my order, and in the pre-order benefit information, it says like specifically, if you order a set of Weavers compact albums from Weavers, then you will get a set of selfie photo cards. But I don't know why they did them as 
this, but honestly, I'm kind of okay with it. They kind of slay, especially this Cheon card. They're really pretty. But I would like to have more selfies in this outfit. And then let's take this off. So that is very, very pretty. Love that. I like this back color. It's very pretty too. And then we have the Weavers, Weavers album pop. So this is this one. I really don't have any interest in going back and getting like pre-order benefits from other stores for these. Unless they're super different then maybe. But at the moment I am totally fine with these for like the because I know that the compact version and the Weavers versions had pops for other stores, but they're all pretty much the same pictures, so I'm just gonna leave it at what I have, especially because like I feel like I'm gonna have to start having a new from Miss binder for every era, and that's that stresses me out. Um if I can make this binder last for two eras at least, I would love that, but I honestly don't know. And this is like a three inch binder. I really hope that I can make this last at least two eras. The way pobs are going, it's kind of crazy. This is cute. Oh, I love it. Um, I don't have these yet. They are on the way to me though. Uh, Weaver's Live, Weaver's Album, Paw. Same with this. However, I do have some more pobs to put away. So not pobs, but I have the pop-up store photo card set, and then I have these, which I don't know what I'll do with at the moment, but I'm just gonna put in a new page. So this is the set for the pop-up store. Very pretty. I love this, this music video outfit. It's just stunning. I might put these further up in the binder, like closer to the actual album BCs because they are in a music video outfit. And I really, really love these. But I also have the set from the drinks for the Weaver's Cafe. Not Weaver's, whatever. Like the pop-up store cafe. I have the full set for the drink benefit cards at my Korean address. So I will probably want to have those together. All right. So that is the pop-up store photo card set. I also have some cards for the uh, 50,000 won benefit. If you bought 50,000 won worth of items, then you got one photo card and I have three photo cards. I am really, this is going to be a slow collection, so I'm not gonna bother with it, but I will put it on its own page because I do want to have the full set eventually. I don't know how realistic that will be for me, but at least for now, I will put this in here. I might put white fillers later or something, but for now, this is just what we have. So that was a pretty successful first photo card storing clip, I think. Yeah, I think that this is too short to make it its own video. So I will see you back here when I have more photo cards. So see you in a sec. Hi guys, so we are back with another clip for this Storing Promise photo cards video. I have accumulated some more photo cards. A lot of them are photo cards from my group order where I claimed a lot of the album cards and some of these are pobs, so we will obviously go ahead and get started. Start with the album photo cards as per usual. So we're gonna start with the reality version, which is the first version. So I have all the mini cards, but we're going to put the mini cards in last for this. Let's see how many of these cards are the reality version. Okay, so this is all of the reality version stack that we have to put away. So I did do a group order. I'm not gonna do a video on that group order because I'll be real. It's not that I don't want to post a video about that group order. It's that I forgot to take a thumbnail, like a nice thumbnail. And then I already packaged up all of the group order albums. So yeah, that's literally the only reason is because I'm stupid and I forgot to do it but we shall go ahead and put away the cards. I did claim, a I purchased a lot of albums, so I was able to claim a lot of the photo cards that I did not already have, which is great. And then let's see, Hyung. 
I'm just putting them in randomly for now, and like I always say, I will make some more cohesive sets as I get the rest of the photo cards. So, I love these cards. They're so cute. Okay, so we have a Jiwon. So we have Serum set complete. I think we're only missing a Hayoung for her set, because I have two of them. We have Jiwon complete. I love seeing the pages come together, and these guardhouse shield pages are really nice. I really like them. I love this little blue highlight in Jisun's hair. I think it looks so pretty. And then let's go ahead and put this Jisun in here. We have two Soyeon. So again, I am missing one more Soyeon. I think I'm missing six cards total for this version. I'm missing five cards total for this version. So we are very, very close. I have some more albums coming. Actually, I think they're coming tomorrow. I shipped out the rest of my Korean address stuff. So hopefully I can pull the rest of the missing cards that I am missing or trade. I don't even know. I have not even traded for this era yet. And I'm slightly afraid to because of the way that the Instagram tags are. So who knows if I'll even find any trades. I am not afraid of purchasing cards, even though I don't want to. I'll probably end up purchasing some cards if I don't pull them or trade them. <gasps> Y'all, we have our first finished page. Yes. So let's go ahead and take this little sticky off since this page is complete. So we have our first full album page, album card page. This filler actually goes really nicely with these cards. I don't know. I just think like their skin tone looks really nice in this set. That's such a weird thing. But oh my god, we also completed another full page. Stop. That is so exciting. I just, ugh, I am so excited. I know that my photo card collection tour is going to be coming out before this but it will include these pages in here because I am lazy and I haven't even filmed it yet. So we're just missing five cards until we complete this album photo card set. We do have the mini cards though. So here are the rest of the mini cards. I did complete the mini cards. So we're literally only missing five cards for this version. My photo card collection tour, I haven't even filmed it yet. I live in California and we are going through a massive heat wave right now. Every day is like 104, 105 Fahrenheit and it is so hot. I have barely wanted to film anything at all, which is why I've been gone for so long. So I apologize if anyone was waiting for some videos. I do have videos that I really want to edit and post, but I just have not had the energy to do anything. Yay! Oh my goodness. So here is the finished set for the mini cards for this version. Lovely, wonderful. And then we will move into the Imagine version. So this is everything for the Imagine version. I don't know why I put the mini cards in the front when they go in the back, but we will go ahead and start. So, so, so fun. So how is everyone? I feel like I have been so distant from my channel recently but just know that I really want to post more I just have no energy when I get home from work and it sucks like ugh, I hate how fast like my work day goes really slowly but then my when I get home from work I literally feel like I go straight to bed and it sucks so I only have the weekends to do anything <laughs> but I guess that is part of being an adult so so sad but I will continue to support Promise and I will continue to try and post videos on this channel because I really love posting YouTube videos I love being a part of this community so I don't want to abandon my channel it's just that the videos might slow down a little bit but I hope you guys still enjoy this content uh, look how Stunning. I love the Imagine concept so much. It's just so, so pretty. It's just crazy. So I am missing one Jisun to complete her set. 
I think I completed Chaeyoung's set. I know I'm- oh, there's a cat hair in here. Mr. Gizmo making his appearance. Um, I know, I think I'm only missing two photo cards to complete this full set of album photo cards, so really, really, really hoping I can pull them so I don't have to trade for them. Uh, it's gonna be so satisfying when I complete these. Here is my first full page of this version, the Imagine version. So take the sticky off. So cute. Oh my goodness. I just love them. And then, yeah, we're missing one Jihan. And, oh. Oh yeah, okay. We're missing one Jihan. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not missing a Jihan. I don't know why my brain... I'm looking at a template and it looked like it was a Jihan card that we're missing, but it's actually a Nakyung card. So we are missing one Nakyung card and one Jisun to complete this photo card set. Very stunning, very gorgeous, very beautiful. Love these cards so much. And then the mini cards. I'm so excited. So I was able to complete all the mini card sets from my group order. So very, very happy with that. I think the mini cards are really pretty. I just don't like the feeling of them. Like they kind of feel like low quality almost. They're not glossy and they're not matte. They're like a weird in-between material. So I don't know. But we do, we do love them though. They look so pretty. It does look kind of weird with this placeholder, but you know what? The orange is my brand, so we're gonna stick with it. Okay, the not yet version. Let me pull out the cards. It is so hot. I don't have my AC on and I barely have my ceiling fan on and I'm dying. <laughs> so we're going to try and film this quickly. So if that's, if, if it seems like I'm rushing, it's cause I am, cause it's so hot. Like I hate it. The not yet version is definitely the most superior version of this album. My album concept ranking goes not yet, imagine, and then not yet, imagine, and then reality. So those are my three concepts, like my ranking for the concepts. I just, yeah, I love them. This Hyung is so crazy. I think she is so stunning. I love the little tongue sticking out. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. I am missing two Hyungs for this version, so I fear that it's going to be very difficult to complete her if I don't pull her. So, very sad. Very sad. Oh, I just put Jiwon in the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Jisun! Jisun's cards are probably my favorite for this concept. I just absolutely love the flower with all of my heart. She looks so stunning and so pretty in these heart cards. Not heart cards, the flower cards are so cute. They really, this card especially, oh my goodness, it reminds me of the um, carrot version for FML. Yes, I think they look so good. And then we have one Soyeon. Here he is. Actually, ugh. My favorite cards are tied. Soyeon and Jisun kind of have like the best cards. I don't know. Like I just, I love all of these cards so much. They're so, so stunning. This is one of the best concepts that Framus has ever done in my opinion, humble opinion, but they're so pretty. I wish that there was one full set of them all holding the flowers, but you know, we can't have nice things apparently. So I'll take what I can get. But then we do have Jihan's whole whole set. So we do have one full set of this concept. We absolutely love, we screamed, we cried. <sighs> They're so cute. Oh my goodness, I love them. <sighs> She's just so cute. I just love her little cute little green dress. So stunning. And then there we go so cute and then the mini cards i do have again i have the full set so we love to see it 
I am so happy with these cards. I love Faramis so much. I honestly, I would love if they got a repackage album, but also my wallet would not love that because, <laughs> yeah, especially so soon after the comeback, but I don't know if they will get a repackage, but I know a lot of people hope that they do, especially because it's a full album, and you know, that's like typical for full albums to get a repackage. But Pledis has never, ever, ever been typical with Framis, so who knows? This set looks so good with this filler. Okay, so pretty much now we're just moving on to Pobs. So let me see and organize them. So this is the... This is the Weavers pre-order benefit set, and then this is the Weavers fan sign benefit set. So let's go ahead and do those first. Music plant I have on the way, Weavers photo book pob. These ones are the not yet concept. I will say one thing with pobs for Fromis that I always, always get annoyed at is that Pledis tends to always just do pobs in like the same three or four outfits and it gets so frustrating because they all look so similar and it's so just stupid <laughs> like they never do nice themed photo cards you know they do have some cute ones this era that i have tried to get uh, with moo and blip are two of the ones that i really like i do have blip coming but i need with Moo. They never, I just want them to do like pobs in their like stage outfits and they never do and it makes me so angry because they have really nice stage outfits most of the time. And then this era what they did that really frustrated me was that they did pobs but they did concept photo pre-order benefits for fan sign benefits what like they have never done that before they're really milking flovers dry from like fan signs they are really just you know doing the pledis thing like 17 always does millions of fan signs like spanning a long time and now Framis is doing that too so very fun not fun for me but you know I really do not care that much about the pobs, like getting every set of pobs at the moment. You know, I always do this where like, I don't care at the moment, but in the future, if I have, you know, extra money, I'll see if I can pick up extra sets. Cause I really love having pobs. I think they're so pretty, but I never care enough to complete all of the pobs, especially if they're concept photos. Ugh, it just makes me so angry. Like, why are you doing concept photos for pobs? For, for fan sign pobs, you know? This one is so cute. I love this set. I think this set is so pretty. But I do have all of my Weavers live stream pobs, which I am just so, 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 so happy. These are selfies all taken from the spring break YouTube show that they did which was definitely supposed to be a teaser for the comeback the comeback that eventually got postponed for months with no explanation and you know that scene that was cut out from spring break where it obviously says unlock my world fighting from jiwon we we don't even talk about that anymore but Regardless, I love this set. I think they look so soft and so cute. I definitely think that this set should go like earlier, but I'm kind of trying to keep all of the Weavers sets together or like, you know, the stores together so that I don't have to flip through my binder and be like, I don't remember what store this is. So the compact are lenticulars with the PJ concept, which are so cute. However, I feel like the lenticular on these is like really strong it's hard to tell the two images apart so there's the one of her eyes and the one of her in the bunny mask i don't know how it goes so i do kind of wish that they were like regular pj photo cards i do have another set of the pj pobs on the way so i'm very excited about that because these are definitely one of my favorite concepts that they ever do but they are very, very cute. So I'm very happy to have them, even if they are a little bit hard to see. 
I think they're so cute. Yeah. And then Cheyong. And I just love all of the cards that Cheyong has with her short hair. I just love short hair Cheyong. I think she is so stunning. I've always loved short hair Cheyong. I am a short hair Cheyong supremacist. Um, I just think she really, really suits it really well. And I love it. I mean, I love long hair Cheyong too. I just love Cheyong in general. But you know, short hair is has my heart. And then we do have a... They gave us a ninth lenticular with like the logo on it. So I will be putting that in this spot in place of that photo card filler. And then finally for today's video, we have the unit photo cards, which these are so cute. I wish that they would do more unit cards. I don't know how I'm going to store them because they're different units and, and they're not really in age order. So I think I'm gonna do it by like oldest. So like this one has Sedom in it. So she's definitely the oldest. She'll go up here. And then this unit has Hyung in it. So second oldest. Juwon is there. So Jisun would be the next oldest. And then this is kind of McNeil line, I guess. Like it has Jihun in it. So that's kind of how I'm going to store that. Do I have white sleeves? So I found some white sleeves. Let me go ahead and use some of these. Ta-da! Yay! Let me take this one off. that is it for this clip i will definitely have another clip going on pretty soon since i'm getting my buy package tomorrow and then also i'm getting my k address package tomorrow hopefully so we were going to have a lot of fromis things to put away so see you in the next clip hello is is this is this thing on yeah it's um it's september I did not expect it to take me this long to complete Unlock My World, and I am so sorry for the hiatus. This this era has been difficult, let me just put it that way. Let me just put it lightly, this era sucked for me, like, collecting-wise. I don't know why it was so difficult to complete the photo cards. We have quite a bit of cards to put away today to finish off this video. I did hand count every single card in here and I can confidently tell you we have 205 photo cards to put away just in this clip. Literally, let me just tell you right now, I have no idea what I was talking about in those clips. I need to edit that video. I need to edit this video that you're currently watching. So. Uh, there's probably some outdated stuff that I'm talking about in those clips, so yeah. We also have bigger inclusions to put away, so I will probably do that at the end. I don't know, but we have a lot of bigger inclusions to put away too, because again, I have not touched a single item since the album came out. Let's just say grab your popcorn and grab a snack, grab a drink. You know, we're gonna be here for a while probably. I actually do have some cards for from our Memento Box era, so let me go ahead and grab those and we'll start in that binder and then we'll move our way into the other binder as well. Well, uh, I don't even think I've shown this. I definitely have shown it on Instagram, but I got a new little PC holder. I got PC holders for all of my Fromis binders and they all have clovers on them. So I think they are so adorable. I put a little heart hollow in here as well. Yeah, this binder is so full. This, uh, this binder only holds uh, two eras, but it is so full. Okay, so we have Music Plant, first of all. We have the pob set for Music Plant, so I'm honestly just going to probably stick it right here with the other ones with this concept. So uh, I'm still literally missing this Yes24 Jihun. That is the bane of my existence. I was not expecting to get any more pobs for this era, but I went a little crazy on Mercari Japan because I just I just love Promise and I need 
so many cards. I just love buying Framus cards, and if I see a set that I don't have, I will purchase it. Uh, that's my toxic trait, if you didn't know, um, is buying every single Framus card that ever exists. I also just missed Geary a lot, and I wanted more OT9 sets, because they I know that there are sets that I don't have, so I just spent a lot of money <laughs> purchasing OT9 sets. Yes. So this is the music plant set of pre-order benefits. I think that they were pre-order benefits. I'm not sure if they were fan sign pops or just regular pre-order, but I'm pretty sure they were pre-order event cards. And they are just very cute. I really like, let me see, which card do I like the best out of this set? I like... I like Sedoms. I really like Sedoms and Hyung's card, but yeah, these sets literally identical, but um, it's Pledis We've Been New. And then I do have mostly concept cards. I have, they're all Japanese exclusive. I think I'm just gonna put them here in front of this set because the rest of these are Weavers. Like this is Weavers, this is Weavers, this is Weavers. So I think I'm gonna put them in front right here. And I also actually do believe that these are Weavers Japan pre-order benefits, so it kind of works. Not 100% sure that they are Weavers, but I think so. I don't know. But anyway, we do have, uh, let's go ahead and do this purple set first. I actually have these in different sleeves. I ran out of Dragon Shield sleeves, so I'm using my Titan Shield for now. They are a bit smaller, so they might move around a little bit. I will definitely fix that when I get more Dragon Shield sleeves, but I got this Mercari package today and I was like, you know what? I have waited far too long to not put these cards away, so I'm going to use these sleeves for now and I'll fix it later and I'll deal with it for now because I want these cards in my binder so badly. But yes, uh, this, I really, I honestly, people might hate concept photos, but I think these are so cute. Maybe these are more like behind the scenes photos instead of concept photos. Either way, I just adore them. I think they're really pretty. And then we do have another set as well. These are like a green border card and these are from the, what is that, memory version? I, I'm horrible at remembering album name versions, but yes we have this one as well they only did two sets of these and they didn't do these for unlock my world so <laughs> i'll take what i can get i really like these though jisun's card stunning i just absolutely adore her in this dress it's one of my favorite outfits she has ever worn and i just think she looks so beautiful in it this whole concept is so stunning I love it. <laughs> and then we have one more set. There is actually another set of these. These are, I think, from Universal Music Store Japan. There's actually another set in this outfit, the beach outfit. <sighs> but I didn't buy it. I might buy it in the future if it's still available on Mercari. But I didn't buy it for now because I'm going to be real honest. Uh, when I found it on Mercari, most of my items had already arrived to the warehouse and I was impatient and I didn't want to wait any longer to ship out my package. So everything just boils down to me being absolutely impatient. <laughs> for now, I really like having these. These are also in different sleeves for now because, like I said, I ran out of dragon shield sleeves and say it with me now i was impatient and did not want want to wait for my new sleeves to arrive i kind of wish that this whole set was horizontal because there's only like what three members that are vertical and the rest are horizontal i just think it would look so much nicer if it was all horizontal or all vertical Anyways, though, I believe that that is everything that we have to put away in this binder. Let's go ahead and move to my Unlock My World binder. We have so many cards to put away. We have so many cards to put away. I'm very so excited. Like, I have been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> I still can't even believe it took me this long to complete the album PCs. Okay, I put new placeholders in here. For the most part, I put 
these white ones. I got white fillers made instead of my orange fillers that I used to have. I just thought that most of the pages looked better if it was a white filler rather than like my orange filler because sometimes the colors didn't match. So I made new fillers. <laughs> I do have some orange fillers still in here just because like like with this page I feel like the, the orange matches well but for the most part I did replace them. Uh, I do have one card for this page, which is so exciting. We're getting very, very close. Literally, however, I cannot find Nakyung's Flover Zone card for a not absolutely insane price. I can find Jihan's card, which is so surprising because like she's usually one of the more expensive members. But Nakyung, the only time I've seen her is like a hundred dollars, and I'm like, I don't want to spend that much. Like again, we're almost done with the Flover Zone from Love From which is so exciting. And then we are going to just hop on into Unlock My World. All of these are album PCs and <laughs> all the rest of these are pobs. So me thinks I'm insane, that's fine. <laughs> so I do have these sets complete and then these are the cards I need for this album version. So let's go ahead and complete it. Don't want that to fall. And then like I usually do, I try and look for patterns in the PCs to like make a nice cohesive page. So I might do that once I get all the PCs in. Like I like to have like hand cards together or like stuffed animal cards together. I don't know, I really like to do that. So let's see, and then let's take this off. I'm very particular about the way that they look. Okay, so let's see. Hyung has hand cards. Are there any Jiwon hand cards? This one's a Jiwon hand card. I like to put them all together. We're gonna put this one here. Cause I don't know, I like making like poses with them. I think it looks really cute. This Nakyung has a hand. And then, um, I don't think there's any Cheong. There's no Cheong with a hand, but there are like these like, I don't know, plushy or like, I don't know, it looks like soft. And then I think I'm gonna put this teddy bear card here because this teddy bear, Jisun, is actually my favorite of the set. So I wanna see it when I first open the page and then this Chaeyoung is just really cute so I guess it kind of works because like she's got like a fuzzy thing she's got a fuzzy thing she's got a fuzzy thing the rest of them all have hands I think that looks good and then let's see maybe this one will be like serving the serving faces I don't know let's put this soy on here so that they're so they're they're serving point. Hmm. Let's put this Jihan here. And then let's replace this this Haiyang. I know I'm replacing like all of these cards, but it it makes sense in my brain. Like just trust the just trust the process, okay? I have waited so long to make these pages look nice. I think that looks really good. Like they all kind of like serve in this one. So this one can be like the fun hand pose and this is like the serving one. And the other one is like leftovers, I guess. Okay, and then let's see. Yeah, this one's kind of like a leftover, <laughs> leftover page. Actually, this one's really cute. I like this page too. Let's be real, I like every From His card ever to exist, ever. Okay, yeah, that makes sense in my brain. Okay, okay, and then we have this done. I've had that done for like forever. And then we are completing Imagine. I only had two, yeah, two PCs that I was missing for this version. So we have Nakyung and uh, Jisun. I think that this these pages look really nice with the white white fillers. So let's see. Any hand PCs? I think Sedom had one right here. 
And then this G1, this G Sun. Soyon already has one. This Cheung. Nakyung doesn't have one. And then most of Jihuns have them, but I'm gonna do this like peekaboo one almost. Like peek a peekaboo. Do 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 do. And let's change out the Cheung. Change out where's G Sun? There she is. Change out the G Sun, change out the Sedom. And then we'll change out the G1. Okay, so that is, uh, for the most part, like a hand page. Like, they all have their hand in the page. And then this one... Let's try and do another serving. So, they serve... Let's see. I mean, G1? Or, no. G Sun, like, kind of always serves, but this one is kind of giving more serve. And then, let's see. Let's see. Cheong serving right here. She slays. This Soyeon is kind of serving. And where is... And then this Nakyung actually serves a lot. So, we're kind of moving all of the PCs around, but that's okay. Okay. Yay! And then, so that is the serving page for this one. And then this is, like, all the leftovers. Okay, so that is kind of the leftovers of this one. And then mini cards. And then finally, we have the not yet version. I did keep the, the orange fillers for this one because I really, I liked it a lot. And then let's see, I don't think Sedum has any, no, she doesn't. These albums do have a lot of like flower cards, like these ones. So I'm keeping the flower pieces here as well. So this is kind of more like hand and then also flowers. So let's put this, oh, which Chang should go here? So we have a flower and we have the hand. But it, this kind of matches a lot better because the rest of them are cupping their cheek too. So and some of them all kind of look the same, if I'm being honest. I'm like stuck trying to decide what they what to do here. Horong He Hayang. Let's replace this G1 with this hand G1. Let's do this hand Nakyang. Let's do this hand Nakyang. Let's do... Let's do flower Cheyang because... We have a flower G Sun here as well. Let's take that off. And then let's do the rest. <laughs> the uh, misfit page, as I like to call it. This is the ceremonial last album PC that we need to complete Unlock My World. That is crazy. Oh my god. I just can't even believe it took me that long. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we completed Unlock My World, yeah! You know what? We're just gonna continue on because this is gonna take a long time. <laughs> We're gonna start doing pops here. So this is Aladdin. I kind of organized my binder to have all of the album PCs and then we're gonna do like pre-order benefits, like actual pre-ordering the album benefits. This set is Yes24, so I will put this away. And yes, these are the exact same PC as the other ones, the Aladdin and the, I don't even remember what store, K-Town for you? Yes, but they are the exact same picture. We hate it here. I'm not collecting all of the pre-order benefits because that would be just absolutely stupid of me <laughs> to go, to like go back and buy them all even though I have these so I'm just gonna keep these here and then I'm actually gonna take that out because it came with a group card so I will put the group card in the middle that's yes 24 this one is holographic though so <laughs> this is the I don't know if you can see it there we go this is the music plant pre-order benefit set which again same picture just hollow 
a little bit of a different zoom, a little bit of a different filter. I hope that Pledis doesn't do this ever again, but I, I said that before during Midnight Guest era, and then they decided to do it again for Unlock My World era for some stupid reason. So I have little to no hope in Pledis anymore for actually giving us nice pre-order benefits, especially with the fact that like they started doing concept photos for fan sign benefits at the end of the era, which is absolutely ridiculous if you ask me. I think it is so stupid. Like you couldn't just take five seconds and ask the girls to take another selfie. I don't know, I think it's stupid, but here we have this. So we do have another set. So this is one of those like the Japanese sets. These are actually different pictures, which is absolutely, we love that. We like it slays, but these are technically, I think considered pre-order benefits. I don't think they were from an event. I might be wrong, but I'm gonna put them here for now. So these are gonna go with all the rest of my pre-order stuff. I really like these though. I really like the size of them. I think that they are really nice. They are just a little bit thin though. They're flimsy, so you have to be careful with them. But overall, I really like these types of pre-order benefits. And then this again came with a group card. So it's gonna go in the middle. So that is the Universal Music Japan pre-order benefit. And then this is where we are going to start getting into like uh, fan sign benefits. So let's see if I can jog my memory here. Let's go, this is Weverse. I know that I hosted a group order for Weverse. So this is the Weverse actual, actually this is the Weverse pre-order like card set. So this is still considered a pre-order set. So yeah, that is still considered a pre-order set. And then we do have Weavers Japan. We might still technically be in like the pre-order sets. I can't remember if this Weavers Japan set was pre-order or if it was an event set or like a fan sign set. So I'm just going to put it here and consider it like pre-order slash the start of fan signs because Weverse was the first set of fan sign benefits. So who knows TBH? I'm just putting them in the order that is on the template that I am using. If you are wondering, I do use templates by the user Juju Yeri, I think is how you pronounce it. I'll put their username on the screen but they kind of make the best promise templates, TBH. And I'm not just saying that because they are my mutual, but I really like the way that they design their templates. So if you're looking for promise templates, hit them up. But they, these cards are really pretty. I just love this. This is so nice. Ah, this, this really just makes me so happy. I have been waiting freaking forever to put away these cards. Like, literally, I, sometimes I would just stare at these cards and be like, when can I put you away? Like, I know it's not that big of a deal, but it is to me. Yeah. These are also, like, pre-order set things, so I'm gonna move them up a little bit. Because these came with the Weavers and the compact versions, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we're just gonna move that up a little. Okay, so now... Moving forward, so like fan sign benefits. This is this is uh, Weverse. Yeah, so this is Yes 24's fan sign benefit set. I don't have every fan sign benefit as of currently. I am not planning to collect the PCs that are concept photos. I'm like, I'm like, like saying earlier. I was saying how I like concept photos. I like concept photos when they're not for fan signs like if i'm gonna spend money for a fan sign i want a nice like fan sign benefit card if that makes sense not a concept pc that i have seen the picture for already in the photo book if that makes sense so yeah so i'm not going to collect concept photos for fan sign benefits i'm only going to collect selfies and i'm i mean i always say that i'm going to take it slow but then you see this happen so who knows if i'll take it slow or not but for now this is all i have i don't have all of them 
Okay, so this is Music Korea. This set and the Yes24 set I actually purchased from one of my Twitter mutuals, so they were very lucky. I think that they got into a few fan signs in person so that, you know, they didn't have to eat the cost of the, um, like, ordering the albums. Uh, my brain is starting to not work. This is just, oh, I'm tired but uh, I will prevail. We need to put away all of these cards tonight, otherwise I will literally die. <laughs> yes, let me just, let me just be quiet for a second. <laughs> Take that off. I really like this Young. I think it's, it's so cute. Like, it's so cute so so cute i really wish that we got like a full set of like teddy bear pcs i think that would be so freaking cute are they in the imagine concept and everyone else is in the reality concept i really hate when they do that like just make them cohesive i don't know how hard that is but yes uh and yes the backs don't match perfectly but it's fine so this is joe and music i think that they are all in the imagine concept hopefully Oh, I really like this G1. Oh, G1 and G Sun's PCs are kind of matching. I think that's really cute. But this G1 is like stunning. It looks like she took it with like the back like 0.5 camera like on her iPhone or whatever. I don't know. I think that's so that's so cute. I just think she's the it girl. Like she is the moment. All right, so that is Joan Music, and then we have Beat Road. Beat Road's selfies are a little bit interesting because they are, like, very close up. <laughs> I mean, I think they're so cute. I like that they did, like, a close-up set like this, but it's just kind of funny because it comes out of nowhere. And I don't know if they, like, if they took, like, a normal selfie and then, like, in editing they cropped it to be closer or if they actually like took the selfie this close to their face. I would like to know. <laughs> Cause honestly it could be either. Like I feel like they look like they could have been cropped in like post production or they could have just like, you know, zoomed in really close to their face like when they were taking the picture. Who knows though? All right, and then take that off. And that is Beat Road. The Blip fan sign benefit is so cute. Blip did their own like content with Framus, and so they actually had them wear these outfits for their the YouTube content. And then they had a fan sign event, so they had them wear these in the selfies. And I just think that they are just so cute. This is definitely one of the most sought after PC sets from this comeback because, you know, they're not wearing like the concept photo outfits and I just think they are so cute. I really like this Chaeyoung. I think she looks so stunning in that green color and before anyone says it, like yes, Young in orange was for me. We love that. And then this Jihan just, she looks so cute with the little ribbon in her hair. I just think she's adorable she looks like a little princess i think that these were technically like cheerleader outfits blue dream media this is probably one of my least favorite sets that they have done for this comeback because they are just it's not cohesive at all like we have Sedom in the reality version Hyung in the not yet let me just put them away and then we'll we'll see it's just not cohesive at all, and it's like, why? I do think that this Jisun saves the set, though. I think it's really cute. I can't tell if that's an ice pack. It might be an ice pack, because I think she got her wisdom teeth out, maybe, around that time. Um, or maybe she was still healing from it. I don't remember, TBH, but it's the cutest card of the set. Next to the Haiyang, I will say. Young's card is really cute for this set too. But yeah, see, it's just like not cohesive. Like why are some of them in the not yet version? Some of them are in the imagined version and then Sedom is in the 
re the whatever it's called, the reality version. It just makes no sense. Uh, we have round two of Music Korea, which I love this set. This is one of the pajama sets. I really want to get the other pajama sets. Well, let's be real. I want to get all of the sets that I don't have, but money is money is a concept uh, that I do not have at the moment so we are working on it but i do want to get more <laughs> this is ridiculous of me to be like yeah i want more more cards from this era the fact that i have like what probably this binder is probably at like 400 pcs definitely over that we're gonna have to count after everything we're gonna have to count how many pcs i have for this era alone but anyway there's a couple more sets that have this pajama set concept and I think that they are so cute, especially Hyung's cards because they all have cupcakes in them. So I want to get the other ones as well. With Moo is another set that I absolutely adore. I think that this is just so cute. Um, I think that this is like a standard pose that With Moo does for their PCs, like for their fan signs because I've seen other groups have them as well. So I do think that that is really cute that they had them do this, like, pose. Because, let's be real, we were not going to get these cute PCs if the stores were not like, please do a cute concept. Because Pledis loves to just do the bare minimum for Pobs, as you can tell. So I'm very happy that we have some cute, some cute sets, cohesive sets. Like, near the end of the era is when we started getting actually good pre-order benefit, like, fan sign sets. So, yeah, I have to work on getting those. Like, the K-Town For You set that recently came out. There's a couple other sets that are really, really cute as well. From, like, actually stage outfits, which I love stage outfit pobs. So, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting those soon. But this is Dear My Muse, and this set is so stunning. It's a music video concept from when they were in the theater, so I really like it. So stunning. They do have lucky draws in these outfits as well, but it was like you got one lucky draw PC for every album you bought, and there were, there were like, what, I think two sets? So that would have been 16 albums, and it was like only in person. And I did not want to deal with that, so I'm not going to worry about those. Also, I think that they're very expensive right now, so yeah, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so that was the last of the fan sign benefits that I had to put away. And then this is where it transitions into event PCs. So these are like special events that they had. The Comeback Live PCs, all of these are Comeback Live PCs. And then we have Lucky Draws. Okay, so this is the Soundwave set for the Lucky Draws. I will say the Lucky Draws this era kind of disappointed me. Not the not the actual pictures of the girls, but just the fact that like they aren't doing like hard plastic PVC and Lucky Draws anymore. They are literally just paper PCs, which like I feel like that defeats the purpose of a Lucky Draw. Because I thought that Lucky Draws are supposed to be, like, different than just a regular PC. But who knows? Maybe I'm mistaken, but I don't know. That's what I thought it was. Because why am I paying so much extra for Lucky Draws? Like, I feel like Lucky Draws are always so expensive. This is MTU's Lucky Draws, which are in the Not Yet concept. This G-Sun is so stunning. I just love her so much. But these definitely look like album PCs. Like, tell me that doesn't look like one of the album PCs. It's just ridiculous. You can tell that they literally took these pictures probably one after each other. Like, one right after another. And they were like, okay, this one's gonna be the album PC. This one is gonna be a lucky draw. And it's like... Why are they so much more expensive and the fact that they look the exact same? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And then, but then there's suckers like me and that's why they do it because they know I'm going to purchase it. Why is this up to, no, no. 
That is ridiculous. Uh Uh-uh. They put... I hate when they do that. They put the back... So this is technically supposed to be the correct way. But I'm not doing it. Mm Mm-mm. No. I know it's going to be upside down. But... That's ugly. (laughs) Okay. And then this is the Power Station Lucky Draw set. Here we have it. This hoodie Ha Young is really cute too, though. But literally, this is the exact same PC as the album PC. I'm not going to look for it because that would mean flipping all of these pages, but that's so ridiculous. They literally look identical. Like, it's literally like 0.5 inches of a face tilt. This card is really cute, though. I love this one. There is another Cheung card in a set that I don't have that I think is absolutely adorable. It has a bunny in it, like a, not the same rainbow bunny, but just like a different stuffed bunny. I think it's so cute. Okay, so that was all the lucky draws. And then this is the tin case PC set from the pop-up store. Then we have the pop-up menu. This is the, uh, they did like a pop-up store event and then uh, they had like a with Moo cafe. So if you bought drinks, like then you got one PC per drink. I was lucky enough to purchase the full set for a pretty decent price off of Hallyu Superstore, I think. Um, but I think that these are really stunning. I'm actually surprised that these were so cheap. So I'm happy because these are in the, um, I think these are in the attitude stage concept outfits which we love we we stand we love a good stage outfit concept pc because it is just adorable they look so good and then okay so these are the 50k won benefit pcs i at least for the moment i'm not gonna bother collecting them fully. These are message cards from the Weavers fan sign. They did like, if you bought a set of albums, then you got one random message card. And I pulled six members, six different members, and there are obviously six spots. So we're just gonna put it, we're just gonna put them here because I don't really care to get the other two members. So that was set on this is Hyung. Then we have Jiwon. Then we have Jisun. Nakyung. Don't I have Chang? Yeah, I have Chang. So Chang can go in her spot. Nakyung can go in her spot. So I'm missing, who am I missing? I'm missing Soyeon, Jihan. But yeah, like I said, I don't super care to get the other two. If I find them for like a really decent price, like maybe I'll get them to complete it, but it's not a big priority for me and neither are these 50K wand benefit PCs. This is the last photo card set to put away. Oh my God, we made it to the end. Uh, we do have bigger inclusions though, but we made it to the end of the PCs. It's already almost an hour worth of footage. These are the M-Wave Catgirl PCs, which are the best PCs in the entire world. Just saying, these are so cute and I love them so much. So, 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 so much. These are like the best thing ever. When the previews came out for these, I was like obsessed. I'm still obsessed. They are just adorable and I love them so much. And then this is the M-Wave group card. This was given out if your order number ended in four. My order number did not end in four, but I found someone selling the PC on uh, Mercari Japan. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. But yeah, so I have the group card luckily. Slay, if I may say so. And then, to end the photo cards, ta-da! Ah, that is crazy, y'all. Oh my god. I think that this is 
this binder will not be able to hold another era. Like, it's just not going to be able to. It is so full. Oh my god, that is so ridiculous. I definitely am going to have to count how many PCs are in that era themselves. Yeah, this is, this is, this is insane. This is insanity. There you go. Um, but you're gonna have to wait till my photo card collection tour at the end of the year to see everything. But yeah, so that is all of the, oh my god, it's so heavy. That is all of the PCs that I wanted to put away. And then we're going to go ahead and do the bigger inclusions. I know some people don't like watching people put away bigger inclusions. Stay if you want to see me put away all of this bigger inclusion items. So let's go ahead and grab that binder. So here is the bigger inclusions binder. So first of all, what I want to do is actually, this is so exciting to me. This is like so, 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 so exciting. We have some older items to put away. First, we have this uh, unit broadcast from Dugan Dugan. So what I'm going to do is actually just move Jihan. We're going to move them onto the back because, oh, I can't even believe I have this item. We have a postcard of Serom from Idol School. These were, as far as I know... They were given out when Idol School was airing to promote the members, like to promote the girls who were auditioning. Absolutely crazy to me that I have that. So that is like the most precious item in my life now. <laughs> and then we are going to move Jihan onto the back of this page. And then we are going to put this unit card back here as well. I would love to get the other unit card, but it's not a priority for me. I only have this one because it came with this postcard. And this postcard is, I mean, it looks a little bit yellow, but for how old it is, I think it's in pretty good condition. Let's see what we have. We have Kinos. So these are the standee things from the Weavers fan sign. Uh, pre-order gift thing and these are definitely going to be flopping around in the binder but I do not care at this moment I just want them to be safe in the binder it's fine it's fine everyone it's fine but yeah these are the exact same pictures as the photo cards I actually liked um, during Midnight Guest era, I think that they had the best Weavers pops. They had like a Polaroid set and also a selfie set. I think that that was like the best. Okay, so it goes like that. And I'm fairly certain that's what I put these pages in here for. And then these are for the Kinos. Y'all, y'all are going to be so proud for, of me. I forgot to show you when we were flipping through. I bought these pages that fit Kino cards. Um, I will link where I got these because I could not find them anywhere. And then I found them on this really random website. It's like a hobby website, but yeah. So I'm gonna put both of these here. Serum, Hayang. G1. And then Jisun on the back side. Soyeon. Cheyong. Nakyung. Jihan, and then the Kino, like, backing cards, or whatever they're called. So, that is what I have. I'm very happy that I finally have those pockets. Oh my god, it took so long to get them. And then, okay, so we have the, what we have is the postcards from the postcard book 
I did pull out all of them. That's a lot of peas in one sentence, but I did pull out the postcards from the postcard book. Um, and we are going to put the postcards into the binder. That is so many peas, but yes. Um, and I'm going to do it by member like this because I think it would look the best. And I'm just going to speed through this and probably not talk, so let's go. Okay, uh, so that is all the postcards, and then what I also had left was... Okay, so I have this stupid pre-order benefit from K-Town for you, I think. It was advertised to be, like, member tickets, like, member-specific tickets, and it was not. It was one ticket of all the members, and then this is from, I think, yeah, Weavers. This is a Weavers shop benefit. So I wanted to put some of these sticker sheets in here too, just because I think that they're really cute. So I'm going to put one set of the sticker sheets in here because they're postcard sized. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Ask past Emma. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this on the back. And then this sticker is from K-Town for you as well. I think I'm just going to put it here for, like, you know, for now. <laughs> I say for now, but definitely forever because I'm not going to move it. <laughs> but we're going to put that there because that's the only spot that I have open for it. Ugh, I feel so relieved. Like, I feel so, like, the weight has been lifted off me. Ugh, I'm just so happy. This is definitely going to be a movie of a storing video but i hope you guys enjoyed watching me store all of my unlock my world items ah uh, i feel so happy like i'm so 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 happy hope you guys had a great time watching this video i love you guys so much thank you for sticking around throughout my hiatus i will see you guys later goodbye